we've worked hard as a staff, as a team, as a program, and I've worked hard personally to be able to take it uh, one game at a time, one day at a time. You know, we've we've had some emotional wins uh, around here, um, and we've had some some tough losses, and and we want to make sure that uh, neither of them affect us any differently as it goes to the next opponent. You know, I think we've done a good job of that this year with our first two games, which went our way, but we didn't um, put any more credence in that than we did the Colgate game. And that's what I said. I said, look, we have to take what we can from this game, you know, leave the rest. How can it serve us towards the next week? And, um, you know, our, our work that we've done the off season and the SOEs and the leadership that we have, I think that's really helped us to to focus on the now, on the present, and um, realize that uh, you know that game's over. Nothing we can do about it. Let's let's put it behind us as quickly as we can. You know, we're just not really we're not thinking in terms of league races or non-league games right now. I mean, we are building a culture of excellence, so we're we're going one game at a time. Whoever shows up, whoever the opponent is, no matter where it is, home or away, our job is to play the best we can and get better week to week. Um, so that's not really on our minds. What's on our minds is how can we improve and how can we give our best performance um, this Saturday. We like playing at home. I mean, it's one of the first things that uh, our staff emphasized when we got hired a few years back. You know program was down and we just said, hey, we've got to focus on something and we're going to make Sholkoff a tough place to play. So while we want to build that philosophy of, you know, we'll play anyone, anywhere, um, that's great. But this weekend and next couple weekends are at Sholkoff and, and Sholkoff is a special place to play for our players. You know, they've been on that field at 5.30 in the morning and, you know, minus 10 degree weather, they've given their they put a lot of sweat, a lot of blood, you know, on that field. So it's, it's, it means a lot to them, and, and uh, I think we'll see their best performance. Harvard is, uh, you know, they've been the premier te team in the league if you, if you go back, uh, you know, 12, 15 years. Uh, you know, you're going to, I think you're going to, over that time period, you're going to see that Harvard is, is the team. And, uh, you know, so they're a, a very balanced team. Just, just uh, they don't have maybe as many stars as in the past. You know, their quarterback from last year is now in the NFL, and he was great. But their quarterback from this year presents a whole different set of problems. He's a, you know, he's he's a guy who'll take off and run, um, which can be hard on a defense. And they have tall receivers, you know, which our corners are getting used to cover, covering. And they have a very active, you know, aggressive defense. So. Yeah, we're focusing on us. You know, first of all, on defense, we've got to be able to stop the run, prevent the big play. You know, we did that quite well in the first two games. Um, you know, no runs over 15, no passes over 20, or you know, if there is, make them very few. Um, keep everything in front and side. Be able to get. You know, we can't have second and two. You know, when you have second and two, uh, it's hard on the defense. So we've got to be able to make some early stops, get off the field. And offensively, you know, we have uh, some very good skill players. You know, so we have to continue to spread the field uh, to create positive matchups for us. And then, as, you know, and then that'll affect the running game because the more our defense has to spread out, then our running game has a chance to get going. I mean, I like the way that um, you know uh, Nick Mullady starting to show up. Uh, I like the fact that we had some freshmen, some first year, first year players, Andrew Brown. Travis Schmidt, um, some guys on defense, you know, Milady, Moody. You know, we we got you know in a, in a game like last week, you get a chance to play some people. So we got a chance to play some people, and that's going to help us in the future. Special teams have really been solid for us. Um, Brian Walters is a, is a special teams player of the week last week, and he's a he's a threat to take it the distance anytime. And, and we need we need that game changing play on special teams. We're real close. We're real close, and I'm hopeful that this will be the week. There's no false, uh, um, false enthusiasm. It's, it's it's real, you know. I mean, it's the same way it's been the last couple of weeks. I mean, there's you know, 
they were no different this week than they were the week before or the week before Yale or the week before Bucknell. They're very consistent. They give great effort every day. And uh, it's all about the next game, you know. And, and our leadership council, and we talked about it. And, you know, we're continuing to push our standards, whether it's in the locker room or in the facility or on the field or how we practice. Last week's game does not have, should not have an effect on our standards of excellence and the kind of culture we're trying to create in Cornell football. So our players did very well at, uh, at you know, duplicating their efforts and trying to get better on previous performances.